All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. And we say Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. And we give double honor to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders, a great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. When the time of the end, uh, so like if that was on, uh, let me turn Oxygen than we have today. Right. Okay, let me turn it down. Uh, I don't know if that was planned during the, uh, when I said everything, but uh, we're in the time of the end, man, 2022, which is the year of Yah Bashim Yahshah turning up. Beautiful things are taking place. Uh, great and mighty things, and I always say it because it is. And, and, and every day is a new surprise. More judgment coming out. More uh, truth that's being, being fed out. More of these scoffers getting getting embarrassed so we in the time so let's go ahead and jump into this video this video shall be called the new heaven shall be beautiful okay uh that's the title of this video because i i just seen this and um and the one thing that just came to my mind you know you got to pick your bones out of here too you know i'm getting ready to play this video but um it's just going into different things on showing that the spirit and everything that we've been saying through this because this is tangible things that's being seen that backs up the scriptures because guess what we know there was giants in those days all right we know that there was men of stature but then it's not talking about no nephilim because that goes into israelites that was what that was going into these nations and not israelites at the time adamites that was going into these nations women just like you see us going today all right but let's jump into this video and then i'm gonna go through the precepts as i as i see fit and then we're gonna pause and um try to get some precepts here and there or we'll just get them at the end and then back everything up. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, play this video. ...in the amber. When they analyze the air bubbles, they find out they're 50% more oxygen than we have today. Today we're breathing 21% oxygen. Amber bubbles have 32% oxygen. Do you know if you lived in a world with double the air pressure and 50% more oxygen, just breathing would be exciting. If you double the air pressure and increase oxygen, not only does your hemoglobin take on oxygen like it's supposed to, plasma will get oxygen saturated. Which means you could run hundreds of miles the, do not without the Lord getting tired. Say, he said, Wait, I think things were a whole lot different. In the pre-flood world, if they had to double the air this pressure and increased oxygen, you would just saying. be full of energy all the time. There's a guy in Japan started raising tomato plants with pressurized carbon dioxide. You know, plants breathe CO2, not oxygen. His tomato plant grew faster than normal, when it was two years old, it was 16 feet tall and produced 900 tomatoes. They moved it to a shopping center and built scaffolding to hold the branches up. They said, you know, this thing might produce 10,000 tomatoes. This is one tomato plant. It ended That's up growing one. 40 feet tall and producing 15,000 tomatoes off of one plant. That's why you they were, had to it was have a, a cherry a tomato land, plant, a, a, but there was tomatoes were coming a, off baseball a, a, size off of his. The Bible uh, says before the flood came, they lived to be over 900 years old. And probably didn't wrinkle. This is Adam's day, day in the time of, of when we they were find mighty. Air bubbles in the amber. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that. There's a lot of things that were said. But the thing that they're, they're, they found amber, and amber is a stone. Okay, so amber is a stone. It's a resin type of stone. And they found air bubbles in it. You know, and this is just going on. Only thing I'm, you know, sharing this information just because, you know, it's good information. But like it says, you know, you always got to, you know, use use the spirit. But they're just going into the fact of what it would have been like. And that's why we know mighty men like men weren't men. We know that the Lord reduced our stature. He reduced our our um, um, power too. that came with a lot. Because guess what? If we were bigger stature, our lungs were bigger. Ergo, we were breathing in the much. So he's telling you, if you're breathing in more oxygen, it's just it's just how it works, how the Lord works, because he's allowing Esau and these scientists to tap into what is already seen. And what was already given to us by the spirit of Yah Bashim Yahshah, man. So these are the times he says one plant, one tomato plant, which is right here, grew 15,000 tomatoes. And he said they, they were, these, were, these were cherry tomatoes and they came out like baseballs. What should come to your mind? Because if you knew the scriptures and knew that the Bible says these things, all right, let's go ahead and pull this up. Let me see here. This is Nahum. No, Numbers, Salakia. So 
This is Numbers 13 and verse 23. And it says what? And it came, it says, and they came unto the brook of, of Eklor, Eklor, um, Eklor, let's go ahead and play it. Let's play it in the Hebrew. Strong's H812. Eshkol. Eshkol. Okay. And it says what? And they came unto the uh, brook of Echo, Echo, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster. This is one cluster. This is to prove that they, they are doing scientific things. The guy didn't even know to bring this scripture out. But he's he's hitting on the points because it's there. But it says what? And the, it says thence, it thence and a branch with one cluster of grapes and they bear it between two upon a staff and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. So two men held one bushel of grapes, one bushel of grapes. How big were them grapes, man? How how full was them grapes? Because going back to this video, he's showing you the tomato plants that grew and get 10,000 grapes. You see what he's saying? There he goes. That's the spirit. So the same thing you were seeing happen in the, in the ancient world is what happened in uh, what, what so-called Esau is known can, to happen with artificial oxygen. So imagine when the earth itself, that's why it says the earth is going to be bigger. So guess what? Just by these things alone, because we don't have to believe on that, but the, the ground basic is there. Guess what? Imagine war fought with men with 50% more oxygen that would never get tired. That's why war was fought like like it was it was it was it was heavy things, man. Even Goliath bigger. You know what I'm saying? So it was men were different, we were a different breed, man. We've 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 we we shriveled up, man. We ain't what we used to be, man. This is this is terrible. Once you start looking at it, but what's gonna happen? The Lord said he's gonna make a new earth. He's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. He might make 70% oxygen, man. Guess what Guess what kind of humans will be running around? And then that might be even onto the... And you got to think, giving it unto Jake, man. Jake's going to be on a whole nother level, man. We're not going to be on the same everyday level of, 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 uh, of man. All right, this is Revelations 21 and 4. It says, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And, their, and it says, there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying. And he's even said it when you have that oxygen, guess what? You're 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 happier. You're more angelic. You're more uh energetic. Salak, yeah, yeah, angel and angelic to come. But it's gonna be you're gonna be energ energetic. You're gonna have energy strength. These are the things that's coming, man. Esau can't give you that. Esau can't fix the earth like that. He can't move the earth to do things like that. If he does, it's artificial and it's temporary, man. And it says, shall be more, it says, shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things have passed away. And it says, and it shall, it says, and, and he that sat upon the throne said, behold, this is what the Lord is saying. This is what Yahweh is saying, man. It says, and he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these things are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning of the end. This was Yahweh Shai Salakia. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the waters of the light of, of life freely. And that's what you see, the truth. The wisdom, none, number, um, truth, wisdom, and understanding is what we've been given right now, man. It says, and I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of living of life freely. He that overcomes shall inherit all things. And I will be his I will be his power and he shall be my son. See, so that's what's the sons of God, the sons. This this blessing is going unto the sons, man. The Lord is going to glorify his sons. We ain't, we ain't, he ain't say sons and princesses and he ain't say that, man. He's going to glorify and get that to his sons, man, and give and, and uplift us because guess what? We're inheritors of that glory, man, because we're grown in, in this time to receive our inheritance, man. It's time to receive our portion in the in creation. It's time for us to be what we were created to be, man. Not, not, not something that we thought we would be. It's what we were created from the beginning, man, to establish ourselves. And now we we have the tools 
and the know-how, to know why we need to rule. What happens when we don't do our job? What happens when we don't make sure the earth is okay? We see that the earth needs us. The, the, the animals need us. The trees need us. Everything needs the order that comes from Yahabashim Yahashah by the way of the law, statutes, and commandments. And then we're going to be execute judgment. That's why it says that we should what? Judge with a two-edged two, two sword in our hands, man. Execute judgment. The nations are not going to mistreat the earth. Well, guess what? They're going to have to, they're going to, have to pay, man. It says he's going to slay him. That He's going to destroy him. That destroy the earth. So that, that's going to be an ongoing vibration that the Lord is going to establish when he takes Esau out of the earth. He's going to say, you destroy this earth and you do what this man did. Guess what? You have to pay, man. You have to answer. You have to pay the piper. And it's and you have to pay the piper and the price is, it, the, hold on. You have to pay the piper and the pipe and the, and the, and the price is steep. Okay. You're going to have to pay the piper and the, and the price is steep. That's what the, the, the Lord is going to establish when he takes Esau out, man. That's going to be a con. It's like the Lord ain't going to a man that he should change, man, or lie. Son of man that he should lie, man. So what he's saying, if you're going to destroy the earth, guess what? You're going to be destroyed, man. So any nation that wants to go and destroy pollution and all, guess what? That's the part of destroying the earth. And you're going to be that's judged to it, man, because that's a sin unto death. According to what the Lord is saying here, man, because Esau is going to be judged uh, uh, by that, by the one of many of his sins, man. OK, and he said uh, and he said, uh, that's it on that. Let's jump to Isaiah. Let's get Isaiah real quick. This is Isaiah 25. And eight. This is Isaiah 25 and verse eight. And it says he shall show it says he it says and he and he will swallow up death in victory. And he's done that. When he went on the cross, he swallowed up death. That was the ultimate win, man. It says, and the Lord will wipe away all tears from off all faces. And the, what what is off all faces? That's going into you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because this is speaking to an A and B conversation. So it's not a worldwide book where some will see it as all. Oh, that means all. No, this is A and B conversation. If I'm talking on the cell phone, you ain't going to be like, hey, man. If I say I'm ready to, you want some food, you ain't going to say, uh, I'm on the number three. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to a person on the phone. You wouldn't come up to somebody randomly when they're ordering the food and say, hey, give me a, give me a number one large. You wouldn't say that, man, because that's not your conversation. That's why it didn't have to be specific and be because it was already a known specific conversation because the Lord was talking to what? Uh, uh, Israel. And he was talking to Israel through the prophets, man, namely through the prophet Isaiah right here. So it wasn't talking to where he had to discern between, oh, uh, you Israel. Why would he say that? That's like you talk to your mother and say, yes, I'm going to go get the groceries, mother of mine. Yes, okay, mother of mine. You don't need to continue to say the name of the person because guess what? You already, the person knows you're talking to him, man. That's what the scriptures are, are, is a conversation between Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the, and the Most High, man, by the way of the prophets and the messengers and angels, man. That's what it is. It's a big conversation. But then what has happened? You have people that have included themselves, just like Esau likes to tap phones. He tapped the conversation of the Lord, man, because this was never meant for him. man. it was never meant for these nations to to tap into this because they don't have the blessing. That's to show you it's not the conversation because he entered into a covenant with us. That's why we retain the driplets of the blessing, which is the the, the attributes in the in the. In the um, and our, t our athletic abilities and different things that we have, man. That's the driplets of the blessing. But we're going to get the fullness. The <laughs> that we're going to get the full blessing here in a minute, man. It says, I will swallow up death and victory. And the Lord power will wipe away tears from off all our faces. And the, and the rebuke of his people shall he take. See where it says his people. Not all people and then his people. No, he's talking about the same people. And it says, from uh, away from off all the earth. For the Lord has spoken it. It says, and it shall be said, it says, and it shall be said in that day, lo, this is the this is our Lord. We have waited for him. That's what we say now, oh prisoners of hope, man. That's what the elect is going to be saying. We've waited for him, because that means the elect is going to be awake and waiting on the Lord. That's why the, the, the brides, five, the, the five wise and the five foolish. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. We gonna man, look, I hope. I hope, man, I hope, man, man, I hope <sighs> one second going to last like a, it's going to feel like one second going to feel like years of this, this place being torn off, man. 
All right. And it says, for in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest and Moab shall be trodden down unto him, even as straw is trodden down of the dunghill. It says, and he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them. And he shall, and it says, and he, and it says, and he, and that he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim. <laughs> Shit. Yo, that's how the Lord, we're going to do, we're going to do backstrokes in the earth, man. <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to do butterfly strokes, backstrokes, all that, man. We finna be swimming. I ain't, hey, this is, I ain't, hey, I ain't read this, man. It's beautiful. I'm going to read it again. It says, and he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them as he that swimmeth spread it forth his hands to swim and he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of his of their hands. So we gonna man, we gonna do deeds in the earth, man. We gonna do deeds right here in the earth. We gonna man, we gonna glorify the Lord, man. All that, the 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 elect is gonna do a big thing, man. Lord willing, I I taste it, man. We all the the, the hopeful elect that are, that are really diligent and ho hopeful in this thing, man. You know, we 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 hoping, man. This is a this is a big deal that we come and getting ready to witness, man. The crowning of the elect, man, and and hey, the Lord, the Lord, they're worth it, man. You know, the Lord gave His life for the elect, man, and that's that's a worth it, blessed number, man. And it says, and the and all for Israel, Israel saved that, but it's the elect first. It says, in the it says in the fortresses of the it says the fortresses of the high fort of the wall shall he bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground even in, of to the dust. Because guess what, when we are taken down, guess what, we coming back and we taking these other nations down also, man. All right, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Job 12 and 7. This is Job 12 and 7. It says, but ask now the beast and they shall teach thee and the fowls of the air and they shall tell thee. Oh, speak to the earth and it shall teach thee. So that's what you see here. This was nothing but Bible the earth teaching they find air bubbles Esau in the what's amber. going on. That, guess when what? they analyze the air they bubbles, they find out they're 50% more oxygen, oxygen, oxygen than we have today. They made them learn these things so you could uh, spot it and know what was going on to what to tell us, man. That's what it says. Because guess what? That's just 50% more oxygen. Imagine 70, 80. Imagine what the what, what, what men would look like, man. So this is just a, it's, 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 we're, we're living is, is temporal, man. This life we live in is temporal. The Lord has got to knock the oxygen up, and this we're a whole different breed, man. So what, why even worry on the point of all the Lord needs to do is change a smidgen. That's nothing to the Most High, man. That's why the Lord said, the eyes have not seen and the ears have not heard what he has prepared for them that love him, man. That's why it says the angels encamp around them that, 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 that uh, um, fear the Most High, man. You know, because guess what? Reverence is needed, man. The praise is needed. Okay, we in a time of glorious things. Imagine our kingdom, our growth, our vegetables, man. We're going to be booming. This is just, we're going to be grown, man. Look, our wine, our wine barrels are going to be wine on wine on wine. And then you're going to have milk and, and, and vegetables, man, and, and cattle. The cattle are going to be popping. Just like this blessing that happened unto Jacob, man, with his uncle. When his uncle, it says, man, look, it says they were, the, 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 his cattle started growing. All right, so you got to think that's the the time of of refreshing, man. It's gonna be the Lord gonna pour water on us, you know, gonna hug us like a you know a, 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 a good parent does, man. So I'm gonna leave it there. Call Halom Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash. And Lord willing, this was edifying lesson. I'm gonna leave it there and say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash. Until the next time, I say Shalom.